everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm going to show you how you can use a simple switching button to turn on and safety off your Raspberry Pi within only two steps. So I know you're curious how this works so don't waste time and start. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is we have to collect our hardware we need. So in that case only a switch, but don't make the mistake, don't take one of those. This is wrong. We need something what is doing something like this. So be sure that you have the right one. Then you connect it between the Raspberry Pin 3 and GPIO ground. So this is important. Don't take another pin because we need the hardware support of that pin. And that's it. Go to software part. So now we come to the last point of our video. We have to adapt the software of our Raspberry Pi. So we do this, just open a console and then we just say sudo nano and go for boot config. And here we just scroll down to the end. And here we just add a comment like power button or something. And yeah, then we just type in DT overload Oh, sorry, DT overlay, and that one is just GPIO minus shutdown. And yeah, that's more or less everything you need to do um, in that file. But just for explaining you, if you want to change something, so at default, the GPIO 3 is needed for the switch off button. So if you want to use something else, you just have to type GPIO minus pin and then you give the number as example 5 or something like this. Um, so this you could also do or you can also uh, use that command here if you need it. Um, active low, normally it's active low. So this is meaning when you have a normal button and you press it, then it's closing the circuit. And if you have a button which is normally closed and you press it and it open, so then you need to write here active low is zero. But this is uh, really seldom and just for explanation. And that's it, then we write it out. And uh, just as a hint, when you change the GPI open to a different one, I'm not sure if it's working with every pin because this is not part of the official documentation and I didn't try it for every pin. So there are some that works, I know it, but uh, yeah, just to let you know. So, and at the end you just say reboot and you're done. So, next thing you can awake your Raspberry Pi with the button. So, I think that's quite cool. If you like the video, here are some more and see you next time. Goodbye.